In this video, I'm going to show you one marketing and sales application. This is not an email campaign or an SMS campaign. So if you want to know more, just tune in. If you are someone who doesn't want to use emails or SMS campaigns because it's becoming spammy and subscribers unsubscribed due to the number of emails, this is my suggestion or alternative for emails and that is web push notifications. So how does web push notifications work? So as we all know, web push notifications can be delivered to your subscriber's device either in mobile or in desktop even when the user is not on your website. However, web push notifications are not supported with iPhone and iPads. So let's look into this application. This is Push Owl Web Push Notifications application and we are now looking on the dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll be able to see a basic statistic of the campaign sent, the number of your subscribers, your revenue generated by this application and the impressions consumed. You also have here the graphical representation of your subscriber growth in the last 30 days. You also have here your top locations, the countries of your subscribers, and the last campaign sent. In the campaign section, you may find here the list of the campaigns that you have created. The only thing about these campaigns or list is that once you have activated your campaign, you cannot delete that. So to create a new campaign, just click on this button. And of course, you will be directed to the customizer of these campaigns. So you have to select your campaign type. It's either for a regular campaign or a flash sale. And you also have here your sending options if you want to send it now or to schedule it. If you want to schedule that, there will be a date picker as well as a time. Segments is that when you want to select a certain group of your subscribers. For example, you just want to send this campaign to your subscribers who have purchased from your store. So that is basically segments. And after customizing that, just click on continue and fill out these fields that are required in the create notification step. So for example, you would like to show your subscribers that this product is already available on your store, then just customize these ones. This primary link is the URL destination of your campaign. So for example, you would like to promote a product, then you may enter the product page URL of the products you are promoting. So after that, this is how it looks like. So this is the preview of your web push notification and you may always customize that. So click on continue. Afterwards, after reviewing all the details that you have selected in here or you have entered in these fields, then you may just click send after. So this is what I'm telling you. So you want to delete these campaigns so there is an error on the campaigns that you have set. The downside is that you cannot delete your campaign. Now let's go to the automation. So under automations, you have here your welcome notifications, abandoned cart recovery, which is a very great feature because sometimes there is a great amount of money being left on the table if there is no abandoned cart recovery campaign that you set. So this is a very great feature because you will be reminding your customers to visit their cart because they have abandoned a product. You also have here your shipping notifications, back in stock, and price drop. So if you want to sell a product, you may set this one. So just play around these automations and just activate these automations that you need. 
One of the main features of Push Owl Web Push Notifications is the Abandoned Cart Recovery. And to customize your Abandoned Cart Recovery campaign, you may go here. So you have here the trigger. When a subscriber adds a product to the cart, then what will happen? So reminder one, you will set here. So wait for a certain amount of time after cart is abandoned and send this campaign. So you may edit that. So this is how it looks like. You may always play around these fields and just customize whichever is suitable for your campaign. After customizing that, of course, it will be running on your website or on your as a web push notification. So let's try and get a test notification. So this is how it looks like. This is the title. We've saved your cart for you. The description. This is the this is the primary link that is being set. And some buttons here, the checkout button or the continue shopping button. Now let's go to the segments. And segments are just basically a specific grouping of your customers or subscribers. So if you would like to segment them according to the number or amount of purchased items or products, if they have purchased from your store, if they just subscribe from your store. So depending on your needs, on the needs of your store or on the different campaigns of your store, then you may set these segments. So you also have here your opt-ins. So the opt-in is basically just this one. If you would like to ask your store visitors or customers to subscribe or allow some notifications from your store. So there are three different sections here. The first one is the browser prompt. So this is the default one which cannot customize the message. You may only customize the time that you would like to show this prompt. That's it. So this is the preview. So that's how it is. The next thing or the next prompt this is the ones that you can customize, which is the custom prompt. So you may customize how it looks like if you want to change the logo, change the change the title, the description, and the color. So according to your brand, according to your preference, just customize these fields. So if you don't want to show a prompt or an opt-in notification to your customers then just click or enable this no prompt so below this prompt is the fly out widget so the widget takes fake approval before showing the browser prompt for actual permission so opt-ins lets you turn visitors into subscribers by asking them for permission to send promotions and offers about your product and brand. So this is what is opt-in. So what's good about this application also is that under Help Center, you may set or you may search for a keyword which you don't understand. For example, is the opt-ins. You may just search it here. You may search that. So even if it's just a keyword, you may find here some results so this is a very helpful feature of this application now let's go back to opt-in so you may set or you may enable your fly out widget so this time you will be just like on the description before the opt-in is like asking your subscribe asking your customers to be your subscribers so that's it that's more like everything about the push out web push notifications so this is a great substitute or alternative for email campaigns because sometimes emails are becoming spammy and emails can be hidden because of many emails that your customers receive so in web push notifications, they will be able to see a pop-up on their screen and immediately or instantly they can go back to your store. So I hope that you have learned something from this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!
Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and share this video and we are happy to hear from you on the comment section. Visit our YouTube channel Conversion Chef for more videos about reviews of Shopify applications that can help you increase or boost your sales. You may also check the description below for the links of the applications and our mailing list. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified with our new updates. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!